Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We've got news pretty much out of all the major wireless carriers here in the U.S. All the telecoms are pretty busy. There's a lot happening as, you know, we see transitioning towards 5G and other things going on with networks and business operations. Anyways, I've got all that for you here today with this update. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to you, returning viewer. And if maybe this is your first time here, welcome to the SMT community. Consider becoming a subscriber. Activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Let's start first with a piece of Verizon news. Verizon has advanced its 5G Edge computing by completing a deal with IBM. This will be a huge integration process of integrating cloud servers and hardware in collaboration with IBM, big name in computing. Up and coming, there will be two sets of MEC technologies that they will be focused on. Their goal is to increase the rapid nature of 5G innovations amongst the two companies in edge computing, and they will focus on hybridizing their multi-cloud and IoT prospects. A lot of this is jargon for huge 5G implications moving forward. Uh, IBM has obviously focused on enterprise applications in the past so has verizon in terms of their contracts for the future and 5g they'll be focusing on like mobile asset tracking uh management things of that nature uh, verizon and ibm will open enrollment into a program for developers and hardware manufacturers and this should really open the door for a lot of the future deals and contracts verizon has with companies and new industries that are going to focus on 5g usage so really really good news i've often said that i feel verizon is far ahead in this segment of their business operations setting themselves up for a huge success in 5g uh, we'll see where at&t falls in the future and if t-mobile can catch up in that respect uh, let's transition to some at&t news quarter two earnings report for at&t are slated for july 23rd so that'll be later on this week uh, we'll be looking at you know, a lot of what they do on the wireless side, churn rate, postpaid net ads, as well as prepaid numbers. And we'll see what they do with the entertainment side, HBO Max and other TV options. AT&T has missed expectations and quarterly goals seven of the last 10 quarters. We'll see if that, you know, kind of changes here as they have undergone quite a bit of uh, shifting. Former CEO Randon Stevenson has been removed from his position and new promoted CEO John Stanky has replaced him. Uh, huge pandemic setbacks for AT&T this quarter. Uh, we know that is the case. Store operations, their sales, their TV, their streaming options. A lot of that will be under the microscope and especially for us, their mobility side. In terms of wireless, I'm going to really want to focus on their churn rate. It'll be a very key metric, as this is probably their most successful segment. When you look at AT&T's wireless, it really has buoyed their business. Uh, Stanky would be wise to focus on the wireless moving forward and try to stabilize a lot what they do in their media side. So 5G is in a good place for AT&T. They are in a very good position. They are far ahead in respect to their standalone prospects and their 5G build out and LT. They've done a great job in building out their network with FirstNet and those contracts. Uh, they really have become a multi, uh, market leader in wireless. And I think, you know, along with those uh, network performances, they just need to simplify and streamline a focused digital media concept and approach where they can kind of figure out what they're doing so they could stop losing customers in TV and home internet. I think this year is going to be tough for them. I mean, it has already been very tough. Uh, the economy has given them a hard time as well as, you know, we look at the executive shakeup that they've had and, you know, they've had a lot of jobs that they've had to cut and a lot of that because of the debt that they've accrued over the last five or so years, the direct TV, purchase uh, acquisition as well as the time warner those things just i mean it's a ton of debt over 100 billion in debt we'll see if they are able to get back on track and figure things out after this quarter uh last little piece and this is what's highlighted here this one out of fierce wireless being reported by wave 7 store closings between the months of november 2019 and june of 2020 wave 7 research has reported at least 1500 postpaid carrier closing stores uh, these are likely merger related in the case of Sprint as well as T-Mobile and then also economy or pandemic based. It's been a real issue this year, especially recently in the last five or six months. Prepaid stores have been estimated at closing about 1100 for a grand total of about 2600 stores nationwide between postpaid and prepaid. Verizon, while closing many stores, 
have actually successfully retrained all employees. They're either actually working from home or receiving training and skills for new careers within the company. Uh, the economy was slowing down actually at the end of 2019, but it basically came to a screeching halt once we hit the pandemic in March and April. So no surprise there that, you know, it's been a really tough years for, year for carriers. A lot of them are refocusing their efforts on online business operations. So the you look at the Sprint and the T-Mobile store closings, those are probably more merger related, but definitely pandemic related as well. AT&T's closings, no surprise there as they try to streamline their debt and try to reduce it. They've gotten rid of jobs. I mean, they're, they're on a complete, you know, job cut, trying to reduce costs. Uh, you know, Verizon really the only company that has been able to curb some of that and keeping all of their employees. And for the most part, everybody's working uh, and talking to a customer care rep. You know, he did tell me at Verizon that pretty much everybody he knows was still working, just doing so from home or getting retrained. So a lot going on in this wireless world. This is just an update on those things. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Verizon Edge computing deal with IBM. If you think that has a lot of prospects and potential for success, if that does anything for enterprise for those two companies, let me know what you expect from AT&T for their quarter two earnings. Do you think they're gonna be worse off than projections? You think they'll be around you know, what the expectations were or they'll be better? And then the last thing, the store closings. Let me know if you've been seeing any stores closing. If so, which markets and which stores you're seeing. And um, you know, we, we can compare kind of what's going on there. So drop me a line in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, thank you guys for being here to watch. Uh, do me a solid. Like this video and share it to all your favorite socials. That helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you so much in advance for that. And, um, you know, also, if you want to watch some other stuff, you're not ready to leave the channel. Here's some other videos for you to peep out. And in the description box, you'll see all the, you know, links for all the things going on with the community. The Patreon page, the at Sneed Tech Twitter handle. And, uh, you know, we do Periscope Lives and other community uh, interactions and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you soon on the next one. Peace.